What is often called the Chinese curse is apparently a misattribution, but at any rate, the saying goes, may you live in interesting times. I'm tired of living in interesting times. I know that you are too. And what I want to say is that we have each other and that if you, your children, your college age kids, whoever need to talk, need support, um, please know that I am here. In the meantime, I want to share with you um, some words from a writer, Mimi Hecht. She writes, I can see it because I've seen it already. How over time we will heal. We will honor and commemorate our brothers and sisters that were tortured and slaughtered and burned alive. We will tighten our knuckles around all the evidence, safeguard and showcase it. We will compile and share the footage, edit it in a way that the public can stomach, that will replay on screens at museums. We will erect monuments. Survivors and the heroes among them will speak at schools. We will observe another day of remembrance and call it something else. Israel will hear a siren, traffic will stop for silence again. But will it mean as much, the remembering? We've held on so hard to our persecutions so the world won't forget, but it has already been forgotten and worse, not believed. We will remember, like all the persecutions and collective trauma etched in our bones, we will remember and that is enough. But the proving, the presentations of evidence as an edifice, it's time to let that go. On streets all over the world, in marches on campuses in America, in every takedown of a hostage poster they label propaganda, in the widespread case for Israel's hoax on social media, we are coming face to face with Holocaust denial, but for a massacre that happened two weeks ago. And in my bed at night, after I've regrettably engaged on social media with people calling Hamas humanitarian, and thousands of comments applauding another's intricate breakdown of the Israeli occupation massacre hoax. My heart is racing. My legs are tingling and my soul doesn't feel safe in my body. And this is what the enemy wanted, for me to be weak and walking dead. I take an anti-anxiety I keep as backup for when all my inner tools fail me and I just need relief. It's been a while. I fall asleep with resolve never again to engage or give them a drop of my sacred Jewish energy. Never again will I try and remind anyone ever, ever, ever again that we have been murdered. If you will not accept our death, neither will I. When they deny the existence of a Jew, what this really means is they cannot even let us die. We don't deserve to die. We aren't worth a life, so we aren't given a death. It can't possibly be that there was a Jewish life and now there is a Jewish death. Not even the Nazis' intricate recordings of murder were numbers, not people. They never killed Jews. This is what they've been saying all along. We need to start believing it, how Jews live and live and only live. It's so clear how hatred of the Jew today is being enacted and chanted within a maddening contradiction they expect us not to notice. Violence and death is justified as resistance, and yet when we are killed, it didn't happen. From the river to the sea. And when it's acted upon, we're liars? Make it make sense. Spoiler alert, it won't. And if it doesn't make sense to you and you feel your body start to give way at the mere thought of existence with these denials, I implore you, let it go. Do not engage. Do not try. It will feel like death and you are a Jew and you cannot die. Here's something I'm learning and it's going to sound absolutely crazy, but it's giving me comfort when at night, while still mourning the violent deaths of my Jewish family and praying for those who've been taken, I have to breathe myself back into embodiment after all I've seen and heard. Our enemies are right. Even when they murder us, they know we have not died. They say, prove to me you have died. We have their GoPro footage. We have surveillance and firsthand accounts. Horrifying documentation is extensive and yet we did not die didn't happen. It's miraculous. We are miraculous. They know it. They hate it. 
By their own admission, we must be wiped off the map. But when the blood and ashes of 1,400 dead Jews scatter the south of Israel, it must be a lie. We show them death and they say to us, oh please, that's a lie. You did not die, you are alive. And they are right. Six million people murdered, how can it be possible? It must be exaggerated. They look at the Jew and say, false, it can't be. They are so alive. And they are right. Even to our most vile and hate-filled enemies, we don't die. We persist. Let us take a note from them. When they yell at us for crying victim, let us say you are right. Victims, we are not. We live. We live in the smiles and dances of soldiers. We live in every attempt for peace, even when literally and figuratively shot down. We live in funeral after funeral that lays a body in the ground where there is prayer and faith and love. We live in the millions of dollars of items for families and children that accumulated in the blink of an eye. We live in the laughter to uplift even during unspeakable horrors and the tears shared over a phone or over a shoulder when we take in another account of children separated from their mothers. We live in our music full of hope and fortitude and unity. We live in the reality that it is impossible and unreal for the Jews to die. We know what has happened, but we must not now live to prove death. We will not die a thousand more deaths by living in the photos and confirmation of what's been brought upon us. Our head held high as Jews is not defined by our persecution. History tells us, these past weeks tell us, we are defined by living. Never again, yes, to prove we have died Never again, yes. To using our precious Jewish energy to try to get you to see, believe, and hear us. Never again, yes. The who creating a religion around the murder and hatred of the Jew. Never again, yes. To even believing for a second in our death more than our life. There is no never again. But it's a relief, a comfort, a rallying cry to simply say again, 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 again to living. We are here again. We choose life again. The nation of Israel lives again. God gave us a manual for burying, mourning, and then uplifting the souls of our dead. There is no page for proving and showcasing we died because a Jew never dies. Our enemies know it, and it is our time to know it too. Jewish life itself is not lost. We live, we live, we live. Ask me for proof of our dead. I will give you none. I am a Jew. I only have proof of life. Am Yisrael Chai.